Today on our 2010 Chevrolet Equinox, we'll be test fitting the Swagman Titan IV bike carrier, part number S63410, with our vehicle equipped with the 2 inch hitch and our bike rack already pre-assembled, we're ready to go ahead and fit it to the vehicle. We'll begin by inserting the bike rack shank into the hitch, we'll line up our hitch pin hole, we'll then insert our anti-rattle bolt. With our anti-rattle bolt installed, we can go ahead and tighten it down using our 3 quarter inch wrench. Now that our anti-rattle bolt is tight, our bike rack is secured to the vehicle. From this point, we'll go ahead and show you a couple of measurements. From the bottom of the bike rack to the floor is 15 inches. From the closest point of the bike rack to the back of the vehicle is 9 inches. Now what we'll go ahead and do is to check our cargo access. We'll go ahead and fold the bike rack down and open our cargo door. As you can see, we can gain full access to the cargo area. Now we'll go ahead and mount a bike. We'll need to begin by swinging out the horizontal arms into a horizontal position. We can then open up the straps, giving us access to the cradles. With our cradles exposed, we're now ready to go ahead and load the bike. With the bike in position and our anti-sway cradle resting firmly in the seat post, we can now go ahead and strap it down. And just like that, our bike is loaded and we're ready to hit the road. And that completes our test fit of the Swagman Titan IV bike carrier, part number S63410 on our 2010 Chevrolet Equinox.